What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Next Win Podcast with your host, Aunt Ma, co-host Justin Fasur, and our special guest, my wife, Christina Ma. Hello there. Welcome, welcome, Thanks welcome. Thanks for having me. How do you feel being on a real estate podcast? Or actually, is, we talk about real estate, business. Yeah. You know, kind of a little bit investing, of Investing, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I was surprised that you asked me to be on this, but I'm here. Yeah, because uh, we need some more... Um, Bring in some more money. So, like, I want you to invest in some things. I know you have some great ideas. No, I'm just kidding. No, you're always talking about investing. So. I am. I am. Um, so, today we have my wife on the show because we are going to be talking about... Uh, she mentioned that Christina wants to be a real estate agent. And as, as you guys know, I'm already a real estate agent. And there's a lot of people out there who do have the uh, partners and dynamic duels of... Mm -hmm. uh, being real estate agents and married um and i haven't you know really thought about that yet but i guess my first question is why do you want to be a real estate agent i mean i think it's so funny because it's just a topic that we touched like lightly touched on for like a few minutes and i was just like oh like i see how busy you are and um i know that you just started like not too long ago and during like pan during the pandemic so things were kind of slow for you in the beginning and then after that like it just picked up really quickly and I felt like all these people and all these clients started reaching out to you so quickly and um, I just feel like uh, in, with the housing market and real estate like there's always a high demand for it so I feel like that's something that's always going to be um, very popular I guess. So yeah I mean the job will always be there everyone needs a house right? Um, Justin's always looking for a house. We're always <laughs> looking for houses. More Zillow, houses, baby. Right? Like, people are always on, even on Zillow, who don't even want to buy a house, but they're just constantly looking. <laughs> you know, have you seen those, like, Instagram reels where people are, like, they're on Zillow and they're looking at these $5 million homes and they can't even qualify for a $300,000 home? That's me. Right? And then yeah. when it sells, <laughs> yeah. they get all mad about it? That's 100% me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, it's an addiction and I get it. The job is always there, but, you know, you know, being married to you, you don't like busy unless I'm, you know, I misinterpreted our relationship, but <laughs> I, I like feel busy. like you don't like busy that much. So it's like, why would you even like it? Like, what's the personal reason? Well, I mean, I do like to be busy, but I also think it's a priority to have a balance. So I like to kind of separate my work from like my personal life. And I know that's kind of hard for what we're doing right now because we're on YouTube, we're on social media. So it's kind of hard to juggle that in a sense. Mm -hmm. But I like to also be career driven and um, be focused on my work when I need to be. So I know for you, you kind of are just always working all the time. So um, you're busy in work. I would say like, maybe 98% of the time oh, and then the snap. other 2% is like personal. <laughs> yeah, because I uh -oh. do so many things. Uh -oh. you know? <laughs> but uh, being a real estate agent, I would say that balance is difficult unless you schedule shutting off. So the work is always there. Yeah. You know, being a real estate agent, there's so much work mm -hmm. that you don't even realize because you're, you, everyone thinks that you can make up your own hours and your own time. But to be honest, most buyers or most clients, everyone who qualifies for a loan, they have a regular job, right? A True. nine to five, Monday to Friday, and or they're nurses and they work six days a week. So the time that people have to go look at homes is actually on the weekends when you're supposed to be spending time with your family. All right, sorry, guys. Uh, if you hear any kids yelling in the back or dogs barking, it's because we filmed this at our house. Um <laughs> Just have a whole podcast with him talking. <laughs> oh my god! And then put some captions yeah. like he's talking. It'd be the kids on one mic and then the dog on the yeah. other mic. That's so right? funny. They have their own show. Um, sorry, what was I saying? Being in real estate or being a real estate oh. agent. Yeah, there's always a lot of work. So, um, here, here's the the more the most crucial times are is when it's like the worst times possible for you in your personal life. So the weekends is when you go show homes, right? All day you're showing homes, mm -hmm. driving around all day, so you can't be with the kids. And then after showing the homes all day, when if they like a home, now you got to submit an offer. And most of the time, when you call the other agents who are selling the home, they're like, hey, the cutoff is in like two hours. And then you're yeah, like, that dang, all the time. I've been, yeah. home, I've been out from like eight to six and now i got two hours to do this like you know i don't even get to eat breakfast lunch or dinner 
Yeah. And I can't come home and say hi to you guys. I'm like, hey, I got to go submit this offer real quick. You know, things yeah. like that. So it's like, that's how busy it is. Yeah. And I think that's one reason why I thought about getting into real estate because I was like, well, you don't have you don't really have an assistant. I'm like, what else can I do in real estate other than being a real estate agent? Because I feel like if I were to become an agent, um, we would have to figure out like a certain niche or a type of clientele to um, to work with so that we're not like taking each other's clients, if that makes sense. Um, I think a lot of people like hiring female agents, actually, just because they like talking to females. Really? Hmm. You don't think so? It's like a little... I don't know. Who would you rather hire, me or my wife? I mean, I don't have a preference. <laughs> huh? Huh? huh, Justin? <laughs> that, that's hmm? a funny question. <laughs> Why are you putting them on the spot like no, that? No, what I'm saying is like, you know, if all of our Instagram followers had to choose between me and you, I think they would choose between you because, well, if they're guys. Well, I mean, I think it kind of depends because it also goes um, with your experience as well and your knowledge. Mm -hmm. So... So I guess for now, I do want you to become an agent so I can have we can have our, all of our uh, followers figure out who they want to meet. Mm, see, you but we, you should, you but should we put that on, on stories, other. right? Oh, that's true. I'm just kidding. But you know, so the, the actual, <laughs> hmm. going back to professionalism here, uh, the actual best duo and, and partnership would be if I was an agent and you were a lender. Okay. You know, and you can get loans approved for people. Mm, sorry, you know? sorry. Uh, so we both have each other's <laughs> business. Or another partnership would be um, maybe an appraiser. You could be an appraiser, you know, but you're working for a bank if you do that. Oh, mm, okay. Uh, but is appraising it? is cool. So I have a friend that does that. And that's really like you just do it for a few hours and then you're done for the day. Like, so... So how do you even become an appraiser? Uh, take a test, go to school. Okay. Yeah, but that's that's pretty cool because that's where it's like, you know, by five o'clock, it really kind of just stops. The work stops. Okay. So when you're an appraiser, are you working, you're working for a company and are you pretty much working in like a corporate office? Uh, I think there's different, it depends on who you work for. So... Like you There's, can be a contractor, you could be like a freelancer like that, or I'm not too sure. Mm. I haven't really looked into it. I just know that there's actual big banks like Bank of America would have their appraisers. Yeah. Mm. Or you have like, you know, our 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 guest that always comes here, William, who works for a direct lender and they're a small company, mm. even though they're nationwide. You know, they also yeah, they work for corporate, I guess that would be Okay. Okay. Um my friend who's an appraiser to be honest, it looks like he's a freelancer. Just the schedule no the way it is. Yeah, I mean, they just call you and be like, hey, I got this for you, you know. Oh, sick. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, because I think being an independent contractor and then trying to go back to, like, the corporate world kind of yeah. scares me a little bit. <laughs> That's think, uh, a hard adjustment. There's some other things that I, I would actually love if you were to go to school for this is if we went into the investing side instead of just working, mm -hmm. it would be more of, like, uh, yes, I'm a real estate agent, but also let's buy these Airbnbs or these other short-term rentals. And then you can be the interior designer Ooh. and design the homes, you know. Um, oh, that'd be sick. That would be pretty fun, actually. Yeah. Do you have like, do you like messing around with that kind of stuff? Sometimes. Really? But <laughs> I mean, we've learned a lot since <laughs> we, have. we bought our first home, right? We knew nothing about designing homes. Yeah, I think... Um, we got into it by like watching shows and stuff. Um, yeah. What was the one show that we kept watching? Dream Home Makeover Dream on Home Netflix Makeover. with uh, uh, Shea. Is it her name Shea? Uh, McGee. I know her as Studio McGee. Oh, Studio McGee. Yeah. Yeah. I think if I went to school and actually learned about like textures and colors and what works and doesn't work, then I would really get into it. But as of right now, because I don't have that knowledge, like it gets so overwhelming for me sometimes. And I'm like... There's so many pieces that you have to put together and how do you co color coordinate and what goes where and like putting, taking feng shui into consideration and stuff mm, like that too. Like, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Do you have like a whole Pinterest board of I stuff? don't. No? <laughs> She's the oh. worst at that, okay? <laughs> Anytime we I'm need surprised. something, I'm like, well, <laughs> she never does mood boards. Yeah. That's she crazy. never looks for inspiration. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's hard. I have like 50 of them for like homes. Yeah. Just like oh. different styles. See, yeah, that's normal. I know, I know. I think I go piece by piece, and I'm like, if I see something that I like, I'm like, can I make it work? 
And then I would just get it and try to like fit it somewhere. Yeah. But I don't have like the whole bigger picture of like a room in mm-hmm. the house. You know, one it, time, um, we, no, go ahead. Um, so when I was younger, my dad was uh, in construction. He had his own construction company and he would be building homes. He would force me when I was like eight to 12 years old, force me to help him build stairs, build structures. Uh, put in brand new lawns, paint the houses, stuff like that. And one day he was like, do you want to do construction? And I think I was like maybe 18 or 21. And I was like, no, I do not want to do <laughs> You're construction. You're so young <laughs> to even be thinking yeah, about to, that. Yeah, to ask me that stuff, like I didn't know what he meant by that, right? All I know is like the work that you made me do and then also go to Home Depot and pick up these Hispanics and then have to go get the McDonald's for lunch and then I got to drive them home after, like... No, I don't want to do construction. You know, like I'm sweating balls out here doing this stuff. But now when I think about it, I'm like, damn, dude, if he taught me how to do construction and then with the knowledge I have from being in America on how to sh- build your business, you know, I think we'd be in a much better place. Yeah. But that's something that you can do as well is some construction, <laughs> you know, or if I did construction, uh, but there's just so many things we can do as partners in the housing market in the real estate world. Is there anything like particular that really stands out that you're attracted to? In real estate? Yeah. Um, I think because I've spent, you know, I have my college degree and I spent most of my time in the corporate world. So when I was thinking about getting into real estate, I was thinking more so of like doing the administrative work. Mm. So yeah, like being uh, an assistant, right? Dealing with all of the contracts or um, even when we were going through the process of like getting our house uh, there, we were dealing with like mobile notaries. So that was something that I was looking into too. So they basically go over the entire contract and agreements and make sure that the loans all go through and just doing all the paperwork and getting things finalized. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like I'm used to that. But at the same time, would I would I be into it? I don't know. But I also... Um, I did consider uh, being a real estate agent because when I first got into HR and got my college degree, um, I wanted to help people like find fulfilling jobs and Mm. place them in like whatever their passion is. Right. But I mean, it didn't work out that way. But um, just looking into like being an agent, being able to help other clients, um, finding a home that they like fall in love with. Like I felt like that was that was something that would be really fulfilling to me as well Mm. yeah because even when we went through the process of finding our our houses like just being able to find the right one you're just like you feel like an agent right yeah yeah so there's i actually would love for you to be an agent in another state that i haven't um uh, tackled on yet so you know i'm I'm doing california nevada Mm -hmm. um you have family in utah and if you were a real estate agent in utah That'd be pretty cool. I feel like the housing market is kind of different out there, though. Why? Like, the the value of properties, it doesn't really go up too much, and it takes a really long time for it to get up there. I think that's, like, yeah. Vegas. Really? Is it? Like, Vegas? I feel like Vegas is growing fast. Well, yeah, yeah, in the recent years. But there's certain parts of Utah in the recent years where they've blown up, too, right? Like that, there's... That's probably more so in, like, Salt Lake, though. So, if you're talking about Salt Lake, that's about, like, eight hours from here. So right. imagine having to <laughs> to go all the way out I mean, there. what about St. George, where people from Salt Lake are trying to buy vacation homes because they want to be closer to Vegas? Maybe, Maybe, but I don't know if they would try to look for another vacation home in the same state. But your family does. <laughs> That's my family. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people because they have new builds in Utah as well. Yeah. You know, you know what's you could even be an agent for a new build. Mm. right so like if toll brothers were looking for an agent you could be that girl in the office trying to sell you know million dollar homes for toll brothers oh so i didn't know the people who were working those offices were agents yeah, yeah they're I all licensed oh. yeah so <clears throat> that's pretty cool because if i have a client i'm like hey do i need to get on the waiting list can so, you bump us up <laughs> so how does that work then if they're agents working in the front so so clients, I guess, so people who come in to look at homes, if they decide to buy a new development and they don't have an agent, are they basically representing them? No. Oh. What? They're getting paid from the builders already. So they get a salary. Oh, so okay. they get paid good money and they have benefits to where they don't need a still commission from anybody. Gotcha. Or have the need to be like, I'm going to have that guy as my agent. Like they don't, I'm sure that's a, you know, conflict of interest right there. 
Um, so you have to be an agent, though, to be working the front. I don't know if you have to be, but you have to have Good that to exact know. same knowledge. You're dealing with contracts. Right. Right. You have to know these things. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to deal with someone who doesn't have a license. Is there a state that you would want to? Would Las Vegas be the the spot or? I mean, with the way that it's growing, I would feel like, yeah, that would be kind of cool. Unless, you know, unless I'm representing like a different pocket of town, right? That's yeah. away from you. You can do luxury, right? If you only sold $2 million and up and I did $2 million and under, mm. that's pretty cool, right? That would That would actually be a good idea. Yeah, there you go. Now you can buy all your Gucci shoes that you want. Dang. Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, what, what do you think about, you know, husband and wife partnerships uh, in real estate? Be honest. Well, <laughs> I think uh, if you can really develop that relationship, like, pretty well and understand, like, or at least communicate. Yeah. I think it should be fine. You know, I think that's pretty a cool, like, that's a pretty cool duo. For I sure. don't know who's going to watch the kids anymore. Uncle oh. Justin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know All if right. I have time. <laughs> I know. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, if you guys think it's a good idea for husband and wives to get together and be agents and start a, a partnership or even a real estate group together, let us know. Uh, we would love to hear your thoughts about that. So drop the comments down below. Also, don't forget to follow us on all podcast platforms. Um, hey, YouTubers, uh, YouTube viewers, uh, we've been uploading Monday through Friday, every single week. Tuesday. No, so Mondays. So here, let me, let's do a quick breakdown. Tuesdays to Fridays, we're doing these short 15-minute videos. Uh, Mondays, we're actually uploading the one-hour episodes, the same ones that go up on Spotify and Apple and Google and things like that. So guys, Monday to Friday, we are uploading. So please spread the word for us and uh, share the love. So thank you for being here, Christina. And uh, you guys follow her on Instagram as well and also her YouTube channel. She has a very loving family. <laughs> so I hope you guys watch that. And uh, next time, we'll see ya.